I've been covering the Assassin's Creed Shadow situation with Japan for a while now. Ubisoft initially decided finally after avoiding it for years that they were going to make a game set in the Sengoku era of Japan. But instead of making the main character an, in a representative from a verisimilitude perspective, fictional but suitable Japanese ninja, they decided to go with Yasuke, an African servant to the daimyo Nobunaga, whose history has been thoroughly confused thanks to a novelist called Thomas Lockley, who attempted to fabricate a false history where Yasuke had been a samurai. He is the grandfather of this myth, by the way, and make no mistake, it is entirely mythical. There is no way that this really happened. It's a false reality, a false reality that Ubisoft picked up and decided to run with and promote, for DEI purposes, of course. Oh, and they made him bisexual too, because of course they did. And Japan is furious. The gamers are furious, and Japanese politicians are considering it a diplomatic incident. Ubisoft is actually staring down the barrel of not just a colossal flop when it comes to the game, roundly rejected by the 90% of gamers worldwide who revile DEI in all its forms, but also a potential lawsuit or worse from a proud country whose history they have besmirched. Think the Netflix lawsuit from Egypt after they race swapped Cleopatra to be black. Newsflash freaks. Historically non-black countries have historically non-black people in them, and foreigners did not get made into freaking lords. Thus, Yasuke could never have been a samurai, and they have offended an entire country, one with an extremely proud culture. You get what you deserve. Anyway, Ubisoft have finally deigned to give an apology to the country of Japan for their infringement of history in a video game. So let's see what the hell this turns out to be. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there? Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We're going to check out the latest as Ubisoft finally apologizes to Japan for defiling their history and changing all kinds of details regarding it, as well as getting many, many, many icons wrong uh, from that particular period and res resulting in massive backlash from Japanese people all over the world and the internet. But is it going to be a real apology or some fob off? Well, let's find out. If you're liking the video, be kind, hit like. It helps others to find it in the algorithm. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Will of the Fans for more news, reviews, commentary, and rebellion, courtesy of me and the Griff Force. L'Elysion Reactionnaire. All right, your Willies and Fannies, let's go to X, where Pirate Nation has decided to share Ubisoft's apology and shout out to them. It says here, two hours, this is wordy as hell, so I'm going to read it. And it's going to take a while, bear with me. To our esteemed Japanese community, and no one else, a message from the Assassin's Creed Shadows development team. First, we want to express our heartfelt thanks for all your support for the Assassin's Creed series, which now has its own history spanning almost 20 years. Okay, sucking up to them. Yes, Japan is a big fan of Assassin's Creed, just like every other country has lots of Assassin's Creed fans. Over this time, we have explored various settings, time periods, and characters from an assassin during the Third Crusade to a Viking in 9th century England, yes, with black people as well, and countless more. Yes, in fact, there have been lots and lots, but not countless, no, I mean, there's about, what, oh, I don't know, 13 or 14 games at this point? Uh, for many of our team, creating an Assassin's Creed game set in feudal Japan has been a long-cherished dream. No, people have been asking for it since 2011, and you haven't done it. You haven't done it because you were too busy making Renaissance Italy, the French Revolution, the Industrial Revolution in England, of course, and um, uh, what else? Oh, the Great Piracy Era in the Caribbean, which was fantastic, by the way, and great that they did all these because they were brilliant. Um, ancient Egypt, as well as Ancient Greece, and... Their and of course, the Viking era as well. Did I forget any? Probably, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, American Revolution, of course. Uh, for many of our team creating this, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, this isn't a dream. They haven't done it. They have been asked for a decade and change, a decade and a half. We've been asking for this and they haven't done it. 
It's only now they've decided to do it. I don't know why they haven't done it. Maybe it's got something to do with the fact that that uh, Ubisoft has a majority shareholder in, or not majority shareholder, but a massive shareholder in China's Tencent, and China would probably not want a big celebration of Japan, but hey, that's just conjecture. I couldn't possibly know for sure about that. Anyway, they carry on. Since the announcement of Assassin's Creed Shadows, we've received many positive reactions. I just don't believe you. Uh, I haven't seen a positive reaction. I haven't seen anyone even try to defend this. Except Alyssa Mercante, of course. But then she's a fucking brainless harpy. So it doesn't matter what she says. In fact, it is quite funny. She recently tweeted um, that it was um, moral decay that was causing the backlash to Yasuke. So what you're saying there is that Japan is racist? Is that what you're saying, Alyssa? Because I hate to tell you this, but if you're saying that Japan, the country, and everybody who is Japanese is a thing, even if that thing is racist, you are the racist for labeling an entire country a thing. Do you see how it works? Idiots. Anyway, uh, so they're saying they've had positive reactions, but that, that's a lie. That's a lie. But also some criticism, including from you, our Japanese players. Some criticism, overwhelming, fiery backlash, not some criticism. This corporate speak is absolute bollocks, and it starts to look like it was written by ChatGPT anyway. Um, we share your passion for history. No, you fucking don't. And deeply respect your care for the historical and cultural integrity of your rich heritage. You do not. If you did, you would have actually shown that. You are having to write an apology here for the crime of not having any respect for the history or, or historical or cultural integrity of Japan's rich heritage. So don't lie. We would like to address a few points to clarify our intentions and creative decisions. Overall authenticity efforts. We have put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful representation of feudal Japan. No, you haven't. You had a woman whose chief concern as a doctorate or, or as a degree student or whatever was gay relationships in ancient Japan. That's who you got. However, our intention has never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games, including Assassin's Creed Shadows, as factual representations of history or historical characters. Instead, we aim to spark curiosity and encourage players to explore and learn about the historical settings we get inspired by. Well, you see, that is the thing. Assassin's Creed is a very unique animal. It's why it maintained such popularity for so long. You get a fictional blurring of lines between what we perceive to be actual, vaguely... Not vaguely, but mostly historically accurate periods of time with the fantastic sci-fi of being able to go back through your DNA of your relatives through the Animus and replay history with a view to stopping the uh, Templars in the future who are trying to still amass uh, the, the artifacts of Eden. So, yeah, and then, of course, there's a precursor race. There's a big sci-fi element to it, even though they've basically ignored that for ages now. Bring back Desmond. Anyway, the point is, really, uh, the only way this whole thing will work is if you have got extremely high-quality verisimilitude. I was playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate, zipping around London, when I landed on rooftops adjacent to buildings that I have been in, and I recognized them. That is verisimilitude. Truth in the fiction. Vera, as in veritas, as in truth. Simile, meaning like, as, as a comparative to something else. So, like truth. Okay, like the reality. That's what verisimilitude means. You have not done that in this case. Perhaps you have in the past. But you have always needed some historical accuracy in order to be able to tell your fiction. If you don't have that, you don't have anything, and the series would collapse under the weight of its own hubris, which it is right now. Assassin's Creed Shadows, they say, is first and foremost designed to be an entertaining video game that tells a compelling historical fiction set in feudal Japan. Yes, but you need feudal Japan to be feudal, feudal Japan. And even if you do create uh, fictional characters like, of course, someone like Ezio Auditore or Connor Kenway or Edward Kenway or anyone like that, they need to be believable as being possible in that setting. Okay? You can't convince me that someone like Edward Kenway was an astronaut. Okay? You can't do that 
it's possible that a man like Edward Kenway would be a privateer and a pirate, as well as an assassin. It's entirely possible. Okay, and it's entirely possible that he would run into people like Blackbeard and Anne Bonny and, and thus like that. It's entirely possible that Ezio Auditore would run into Leonardo da Vinci or Machiavelli or people like that. And, but he is an Italian man, a swarthy Italian dude who became an assassin, representative of the era. Yasuke would not be a samurai because he's not Japanese for a start. It's absurd. Our team extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan to inform our creative choices. Yeah, well, you clearly did not do a good job. Despite these sustained efforts, we acknowledge that some elements in our promotional materials have caused concern within the Japanese community. For this, we sincerely apologize. All game pre footage presented so far is in development, and the game will keep evolving until launch. Based on the constructive criticism we have received, we will continue our efforts until we put this game into your hands and beyond... What, are you going to shove it up our asses? Beyond our hands? What are you f talking about? We also want to clarify that while we have been consulting with the many people throughout the development process, we, they are in no way responsible for the decisions that are taken by the creative teams and interests of gameplay and entertainment. So what exactly have they apologized here? Despite this, some elements have caused concern. We apologize that some promotional materials have caused concern. You haven't taken any responsibility. You haven't said we have done a poor job of marketing our game. You've said promotional materials might have been, uh, you know, concerning. And we apologize if you're concerned. This isn't an apology. This is when you say, well, I apologize if you're offended, but I'm not actually sorry. It's like me saying that to someone who doesn't like it when I use certain words or something like that. Like if I swear. And someone says, I really wish you didn't swear like that. I'd say, well, I, I'm, I do apologize for that you're offended. I feel sorry that you are offended, but I'm not going to stop because I can't. You know, something like that. Anyway, conse consequently, we respectfully request that any criticism not be directed at our collaborators, both internal and external. So please stop bombarding us with criticism. Creative liberties and historical inspirations. While we strive for authenticity in everything that we do, Assassin's Creed games are works of fiction inspired by real historical events and figures. From its inception, the series has taken creative license and incorporated fancy elements to craft engaging and immersive experiences. This representation of Yasuke in our game is an illustration of this. His unique and mysterious life made him a... He didn't have a mysterious life. He was there for 15 months. He was a retainer to Nobunaga and he was gone. That's it. Made him an ideal candidate to tell an Assassin's Creed story. No, you see, because normally you create a person who is completely fictional. Ezio Auditore never existed. No, Altair Ibn Lahad never existed. You create characters who seem like they would fit in. By that reckoning, you should have created a Japanese guy who would have been in Japan at that time and might have been able to become a samurai. Or even better, a ninja like you've done with the woman character, Naoe. Anyway, we, uh, while Yasuke is depicted in a samurai, as a samurai in Assassin's Creed Shadows, we acknowledge that this is a matter of debate and discussion. No, it's not. It's not a matter of debate. Yasuke was not a samurai. He never was. Thomas Lockley invented that for a novel and cited his own sources trying to make it true. M trying to make it so that people would accept it as true, which it just isn't. And you lied, and he lied, and you're lying. We have woven this carefully into our narrative. Yeah, the narrative that Yasuke was a samurai, that you then went and had people change Wikipedia to reflect. The Japanese shinobi Naoe, who is uh, equally important in the game. Naoe? Naoe? Uh, dual protagonists provide players with different gameplay styles. This is, this is a nothing. This is a fucking nothing burger. We greatly value your feedback and encourage you to continue sharing your thoughts respectfully. Well, they don't have to, because you are not respecting them. While we understand that meeting everyone's expectations is very difficult, we sincerely hope that when Assassin's Creed Shadows launches on November 15th, players in Japan and around the, the world will appreciate the dedication, effort, and passion we have poured into it. Yours sincerely, the Assassin's Creed Shadows Development DEI team, basically. Yeah, uh, no, not buying this. I'm not accepting this as an apology, and I hope Japan won't either. But hey, 
Japanese people, I know you like to check in with my videos from time to time. And even if you are not Japanese watching this, please, all, everybody, let me know how you feel about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like to see more of me. I'd like to see more of you and I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans, respect Japan, respect history, respect truth. Oh, that's right. And I'll chat to you next time.